love. It's going to be a great day and a great week. I'm your host, Arielle Chanel, and I'm back with another episode of Good Morning Love. I'm glad to be here. You know, it's my favorite day of the week. I love spending this time with you all, and I hope you enjoy having this little moment with me as well. As we get started, as always, I want to share what I am thankful for this week. I am thankful for my friend, Phoebe. She is amazing, amazing, amazing. And honestly, I would not have been able to keep going with this podcast if it was not for her. Her encouragement from the beginning has been amazing. Phoebe was one of the first people um, and my, my group of people who always give me feedback to make sure that I know if something is not right in an episode, to give me feedback of what she thinks, and even encourage me to go further and do things that I never thought that I could do just because of what she sees from watching my podcast episodes. And I had to give her a shout out on this episode because I wouldn't be talking about what I'm going to talk about today if she did not push me to develop this topic a little bit more. I had shared something before and she was like, you gotta speak on that. So that is what this episode is gonna be about and it would have never happened if it wasn't for Phoebe being there and being like, Ariel, you have to do this. So Phoebe, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for always being in my corner, always sharing your insight with me, letting me know uh, that you appreciate this podcast. I appreciate it. I really do. And I don't take your messages and words of encouragement for granted. I really do appreciate it. I also want to know what you're thankful for. I say it every week, but I really do want to hear from you and what it is that you are thankful for this week because there's so much to be thankful for. There's always something that happens. So I want to be able to share in that with you as well and hear what it is that has happened in your life. So send me a message at Ariel Chanel on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you could even post a comment on the video. You can share a voice memo if you're listening to this through Anchor, and I will gladly listen to it. I won't share it with anyone. I'll keep that for myself, unless it's something that you would like to be shared. If you have anything that you ever want to say that you want me to put in an episode, let me know. I definitely would do it because this is for all of us. It's not just a platform for me to talk to you, but we're a community and we're here for one another. So before I get into the topic, as I shared how thankful I am for Phoebe, I really am thankful for all of you all. I appreciate every single comment, every single listen, even if it's just for a few moments. And I decided that I wanted to do something now that we are in our fourth season, which is so crazy to me. We're going on almost two years of doing Good Morning Love. I want to give back to you all because I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So I decided to do a little giveaway. I want to give away two prizes to my listeners because I care and I love you guys. So to be fair, and again, because I love to hear from you all, I love to see if you're paying attention to the episodes, I have two questions for you. The first question is for those that are watching this on YouTube or Facebook. I have a pretty basic setup, as you can see, for every week for my episode. I'm kind of a simplistic person at most or whatever, but I keep things pretty simple. But there's something that changes every single week with my studio setup. And I want to know if you've paid attention to it and if you caught it. So if you know what has changed week by week and what it was last week in last week's episode, send me a message. You can send it at Ariel Chanel on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can private message me. You can send me a private message 
or whatever it is, let me know your answer. I don't want you to put it in the comments below because I don't want you to give it away to other people. I want to see if people can catch it themselves. But send me a message, reach out to me, and let me know what it is that changes every single week about my studio setup. One thing changes every single week. Everything else stays the same, but there's something specific that changes. And if you know what it is, let me know. And if you know what it was last week, what last week's change was, let me know. Send me that message. For those that are listening, because you can't see what I'm talking about from my setup, I have something for you as well. I talked about how we are now in fall. We're in the fall season and I love fall and I talked about the reasons why I love fall and I made a comment and I said, if you know where that's from, you're cool. If you know where the comment that I made came from, if you know the comment that I made and where it came from, send me a message letting me know that you heard it, you picked up on it, and you know where it comes from. Send me that message, let me know. And I will take those names and I will put them in a raffle and I will then pick two winners for that. So that is what I'm throwing out. I'll give you all two weeks, so not next week's episode, but the following week's episode, I will pick the names for the winners. So let me know if you know what it is that I have for the viewers have changed every week and what is the thing that I quoted, where it comes from. Those are the two questions and I look forward to seeing who sends me a message and lets me know what it is that I said and what I change. <laughs> all right, so now that I've gotten that out the way, I know you're like, all right, Ariel, what, what are we talking about this week? I see here that you have the title as assembly required. What does that mean? What does assembly require mean? Well, if you are a product of the 90s like me, and you grew up in a time where toys were a big thing, if you were a Toys R Us kid like I was, and you watched a lot of different TV shows that they had all the different toys that would come out, I can remember seeing the commercials for an Easy Bake Oven, seeing commercials for Barbie Dream House, all these different things that I wanted. I wanted everything. <laughs> Anything that I saw that I was like, oh, that looks cool. I wanted it. And I remembered the way they would present it on the commercial. And you would have these beautiful dollhouses with the, um, the, the car that would come with it. And they would be driving in the Barbie car. And they would have Ken and Barbie and her other little friends whose names I can't remember right now. And they'd have all the little house uh, there like closet and the clothes and it all looked really cool and it was something that I was like wow I want that I want I want to be able to play with that but when you looked at the commercial there was always fine print at the bottom especially when it was toys that had talking features so if you had like a doll that would make noise or go to the bathroom or whatever it could be um, or if you had a, a wrestling toy and you had different wrestling men and they would make all of the different sayings that the wrestling people would have. So if you had uh, um, Hulk Hogan, you know, you'd have him saying his, his famous lines and everything. Or if you had The Rock, you'd have it being like, if you smell what The Rock is cooking and all the different sayings, that would be said. And you would see them playing with these things and it would look amazing. But again, you go to the fine print and it's so small sometimes you don't pay attention to it because that's kind of the point. They don't want you really to pay attention to what the fine print says. But the fine print would usually say assembly required. So when you have this dollhouse and you have this, these toys or whatever, it'll say assembly required or batteries not included or there would always be some kind of caveat 
to what they were presenting you and what they were showing you. Now, this is something that doesn't really change now. And we're not kids anymore. And if you are a kid listening to this, then hello. It's nice to talk to you as well. I'm glad you're listening. And I want you to learn this lesson as well. and Try to get it in your head before you get to my age. But it's something that doesn't really change because we now have Ikea and you see all of the different Ikea products and furniture that you get and they have these awesome looking cabinets and pretty cool tables and all the things look amazing. But when you go and you actually get the product, so if you get the toy, if you get the cabinet, if you get the desk, if you get the chair, whatever it is, it always has to be assembled. There's some kind of work that has to go into what you got and what you have. And I realize a lot of the times we would get frustrated growing up because when you get that toy and you get the package, especially if it was Christmas and you are ready and excited and you see this dollhouse, heaven forbid your parent did not put it together the night or week before and you're ready to play with this thing and now you have to wait for it to be assembled. Oh, the process of waiting for what you want to be assembled is just sometimes heartbreaking. And I remember sitting there with with my toys and having to wait for my dad to get the batteries and put the batteries in it so that it'll work or find a screwdriver to take off the back of the toy so that the batteries can go in it and make sure that you have the right screwdriver that fits with the right product. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm giving some of you all PTSD right now just talking about this because I think I'm giving myself it. But when you pause for a second and you look at what's going on, this is how life is. There are different things that we want in life. There are different things that we see in life that we're like, I am aspiring for that. That is what I want. Especially in this new social media day and age where you have people who show you I made a million dollars and this is how I did it. Or, you know, it's easy. I've done this and that and you can do it too. And you see it and you're like, wow, they did it. I want that too. I want to be able to do that too. But they don't always put out the fine print of what it takes to get that thing. For me, I know that sometimes I'll look at a lot of different, um, like relationship videos and I'll see like they have all the different like proposal videos or all these cool things that people put up and be like oh my goodness oh this is so cool and they look so beautiful but then you pause and you're like what were the steps that they had to take to get to that beautiful moment because they're only showing you the beauty of their proposal or the beauty of their wedding day but what was it that caused them to say this is what I want to do this is where I want to get to and this is what I got to do to get there it also could be weight loss videos you see people who share that you know they've lost they've gone from a lot of pounds to not that many pounds I don't know my brain is not helping me (laughs) this morning but you see these things and it's like oh that's so cool but sometimes they don't tell you the steps that it takes for them to get there so I know you're probably wondering Ariel okay that's cool what's the point behind you telling me this well I want you to know this morning whatever it is that you are aspiring to get to whatever dream you have whatever vision you've seen kind of like the commercial in your head of what your life will be like in the future that's already yours it's yours the same way with the toy or with the couch or whatever it is that you purchase it's yours you have the thing but there's always some work that has to go into it for you to get the final result that you need And in this microwave, fast food, get rich quick society, I want to help break the lie that 
everything already comes assembled and already comes put together. Sometimes there are going to be moments where you have to work hard. Sometimes there are going to be moments where you have to sacrifice. Sometimes there are going to be moments where you have to say no. But all of this are the steps and the instructions that you have to follow to get to where you need to be and where you need to go. It's not easy all the time. It's not, you know, the silver platter handed to you. But I promise you, it is worth it. It's very much worth it to follow the steps and to not try to cut corners. Because if you know, like I know, when you try to cut corners when doing things and you miss a step, you can end up costing yourself in the end. You could end up breaking something. You could end up um, really hurting yourself by not following the instructions that you need to follow. So I don't know what it may be in your life. I know for me, continuing to be on this journey that I'm on with God, it's causing me to see where the moments where I even am like, why can't I just have it now? Like, why can't it just be like this? Why can't it look like that? Well, because there's work that you have to do, Ariel. There are things that you have to do, Ariel, so that you can get the end result. Because you know what has been said about your life. You know where you're going. You know where you're going to get to. You've seen the finished product, like in the commercials. You've seen the finished product. You know what it's going to look like in the end. But you have to do the required assembling to get there. So I will even share, for me, it's my weight loss journey. It's me being a healthier Ariel. It's me getting to that place. If I know that that's where I want to get to, am I going to continue to have cookies at midnight? Or am I going to say no to them? Am I going to do the work to make sure that I get to where I need to go? Am I going to go on my walks? Am I going to do my exercises? Am I going to eat my fruits and vegetables? Am I going to do the required assembling that I need to do to be the healthy me that I need to be? And it may not be weight loss for you. It could be anything else. It could be if you are going to school and you're going back to school. You know the degree is yours. You know you're going for it. If you pay your money, you're... 75% of the way there. As long as you pay them the money, you're almost there. But it's the required work that has to be done. So are you going to class? Are you listening to your professor? Are you handing in your homework assignments? Are you doing the required things that you need to do so that way you can be able to have PhD at the end of your name? MD, uh, EDD, whatever it is that you're going for, that you'll be able to have that for you when you go there. Because again, it's already yours. Majority of the work really is already done too. And that's another lie that I, I wanna help dispel. So even with those toys, majority of the work is already done. You don't have to build the products from scratch in the beginning. You're given what you need to do everything you need to do. You have all of the tools that you need. You just have to do the work to get the finished result. So, I want to hear from you. What is it that you are saying? This is the area in my life where I need to put in more work and assemble the pieces so that I could see the results that I have been waiting for. I love, love, love when you give me feedback. It makes me smile so much when I get messages wherever it is and I read what you guys have to say about the episodes. So I want to hear from you. And and with that, know that I am here for you. And I appreciate even all the feedback when you all tell me that you are here for me. And any way that you could be of support for me, I appreciate that. I appreciate it so much. So I'm here for you, whatever it is. We're going to do the work together. We're going to assemble the pieces and we're going to see all of the things that are for us, that we already have, that we already own. It's already in our destiny. So that is it. That is all that I have for you today. I hope that this little bit of time and this message has encouraged you and is causing you to think outside of the box and really take a look at your life so that way we can start living our best lives. I will be back 
next week with another episode. And remember that I'm doing this giveaway. So if you can, if you haven't, listen to last week's episode. Take a listen. Take a look. Figure out those questions. Let me know what's the thing that changes every single week in my episodes and what was last week's thing that changed. And if you're listening to this, let me know what was the thing that I said last week. Uh, The quote that I referenced and I said, if you know where that's from, you're cool. What was it? What was the thing? And where is it from? And I look forward to hearing what you all think, what you have to say. I'm curious to see what you'll what you'll send in. So I love you all. I can't wait to speak to you again next week. Have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye. That's all for now on Good Morning Love. You can continue talking with me on Instagram at Arielle Chanel or on Facebook at Arielle Chanel Music. Let me know what you think. And until next time, remember, always wake up with love.